What's going on you guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get subtitles just like this in your videos using Premiere Pro. I'm not here to sell you anything. I just wanna show you guys how you can get captions like these in your videos using an extension called Submachine. I have Submachine pulled up right here on my screen and essentially this is an extension you can add to Premiere Pro and they have a ton of different Moger animations that you can add to your captions. And us editors know that captions like this could take a lot of time. If you use an extension like Submachine, then it's definitely worth it. And if you use code Ethan10, you'll get 10% off. But I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step on how to use this in Premiere Pro. So obviously you wanna purchase this and then you wanna download it to your PC. And then once you have Premiere Pro pulled up, you wanna to go to Window, then Extensions, and then you wanna pull up Submachine. And then as you can see, Submachine will be pulled up right here. The first thing you wanna do is go to the text and add captions, but there are specific things you have to do. You wanna have maximum length in characters all the way down, and you wanna have maximum duration in seconds all the way down. And then you wanna have it on single, and then transcribe it. There we go, now every single caption is pretty much one word. The next step is to select all your captions, then go to three dots right here, export, export to SRT file, and then just put it to whatever folder you want I'll just put it in my downloads and then we don't need these captions anymore so just turn off the track and then go to create and then add your SRT file here so I'm gonna add it there and then when you download submachine you'll get a ton of different mogurt options that you can add so I have a submachine folder right here and it has different mogurts that they provided so I'm gonna go to the mogurts and I personally really like the karaoke which is the animations I had on the intro of this video and then make sure you have the frames matched to what your timeline is so for me it's 29 frames per second so I'm gonna click that and then you can adjust this to however many letters you want on your screen at once for me I'm gonna put 18 and then we're gonna push create subs and as you can see right here it is transcribing everything on the screen it's gonna keep going obviously the longer your video the longer it's gonna take but it's already done for me just like that and this is gonna be your basic animation with nothing done right here who here thinks that they have somebody that's so I want to change some things to these default animations so to do that, go to your essential graphics, then edit, and then select your very first text file, and then go to your color for background, and then whatever color you want. I personally like a light blue color, so I'm going to do that right there. I'm going to add a drop shadow opacity, put that all the way up. I really like the look of that. And then to change the text, I really like the bold font, so I'm going to have that there. And now this is what it looks like. Who here thinks it has it on the first file, but not the rest? So this is what we want to do. We want to select everything and then go to sync all. And as you can see right here, it is now loading to apply everything to the rest of those text files. And then once it's done syncing everything, this will pop up, you'll just click okay. And this is what we have right now. Who here thinks that they have somebody that's super, super talented in front? And sometimes there'll be a little gap between your text. So you'll just have to manually drag that to the end. And if you want to change the position of this, you'll just go to effect controls and then go down and bring it up a little bit. And then just keep in mind, whatever changes you make, you'll have to reselect it all. And and then if you want to sync a specific style, then you'll click the sync position scale and rotation button. Then it'll load again. And this is what we have so far. Who here thinks that they have somebody that's... Which is looking very good. And to get animations like this in Premiere Pro this quick, it's just crazy to think about. So as you can see right here, watch this. Out of your business, that absolutely... So I want the word that in this other sentence right here. Absolutely. Positively. What we are going to do is we are going to select the that when it's selected. We are going to select that with what we want it to be combined with. And then click split and join selection. And now it'll create new files. Business, that absolutely... And then it combines it but it doesn't have the style we want so you'll just have to go to the one before select it all and then click sync all yes that absolutely positively have and then it combines it all for you so this is pretty much what submachine is it'll create your captions very fast for you you can select the specific mogurt file you want to where if you want the karaoke style or if you want any of these other styles like block light pro regular slide and bounce TikTok, typewriter test it out see what you want see what you like best but that's pretty much the basics of how you use submachine if you're interested i will have a link down below if you want to go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know down below.